this is the most important cemetery for Jews around the world the most important cemetery that dates back from the first temple period 1000 years before Christ until today we are walking in the Kidron Valley this is the Josaphat Valley where Jews believe that the end of days will happen over here and or the also according to the book of Isaiah this is where the Messiah at the end of days will come from to enter Jerusalem which is on this side and to the Temple Mount so all the Jews believe that burying their beloved ones over here on the slope of the Mount of Olives in the Kidron Valley they will be the first one to resurrect with the coming of the Messiah at the end of days this valley over here is also associated with the biblical name with the biblical valley that was mentioned the Kings Valley and according to Genesis as you can see here the first book in the Bible that Abraham came and met Malkait Zedek the king of Salem over here in this valley Salem was the earlier name of Jerusalem that appears in the Alamanna letters in the 14th century before Christ. Here's another verse in the Bible, the Kidron Valley, because we are in the Kidron Valley. As you can see, there's a lot of olive trees over here in the area because we are in the area of Gethsemane and also of the Mount of Olives since its name come from the dominant olive trees in the area and also Gethsemane maybe if you of you know about that Gethsemane comes from the Hebrew Aramaic meaning meaning Gachmanim or olive presses where Jesus was betrayed by Judas Iscariot those are the walls of Jerusalem built in the Ottoman period and I'm coming so close now to Absalom tomb As you can see it's really huge so Absalom was the son of King David the not the best guy the son who rebelled against his father and traditionally believed that Absalom since he didn't have um, kids and children to um, make him the best funeral and to build him a tomb he ordered to build this temple over here that you see it in the Kidron Valley and Jews at that time after his death they started throwing stones on this big monument that you see because Absalom rebelled against his father King David and people at that time admired David so much but this is mistakenly believed that it was built by Absalom because this beautiful monument over here we call it monolita or a huge one rock because this as you can see this is a huge rock that was chiseled and decorated 2000 years ago during the first century during the Roman times and those columns that you see those are fake those are we call it ionic capitals but those are fake those were also chiseled in the rock to look like those are columns huge columns taking care 
of this huge monument. So imagine that this is all was chiseled 2000 years ago. But tradition says that it was by Absalom, but Absalom was living one lived or 1000 years before this beautiful monument was chiseled. Later in the Byzantine period, this hole that you see in the rock uh, the early Christians dug this hole and lived inside the huge monument that you see as hermits believing that of course this is the Kidron Valley and this is the Josaphat Valley that they read in the Bible. Here is also the story of the rebellion of Absalom against his father King David. This is all about Absalom 2. See you in the next video.